Israeli ambassador to the UN, Mr. Danny Danone. Ambassador Danone, thank you very much for joining us this hour. It's not by chance that we uh, played that little bit of what uh, Vermont Senator Sanders had said. You, of course, had a strong reaction to Sanders' statement specifically on the prime minister. Yeah. Thank you for having me, Hyman. Indeed, we see a magnificent uh, conference, Democrats, Republicans standing together with Israel. Uh, and it gives me a lot of energy to go back to the UN and to represent Israel in this body. Uh, usually, we don't get involved in, the, in domestic elections, and we don't like people who get involved in our elections. But when Mr. Sanders called my prime minister, when he called him a racist, we cannot sit idly by. So I think when he said he doesn't want to come to APAC, we say, no problem, you don't have to come to APAC, you don't have to come to Israel. But if you call our prime minister a racist, it's either you are a liar or ignorant, there is no other explanation for that. Looking ahead to uh, tomorrow, Ambassador Danone, you know Israeli citizens are wary of these uh, ongoing election campaigns. Are you confident, despite the shifts that we saw in Israeli politics in recent months, that the Likud can in fact win and form a government with Prime Minister Netanyahu? So I think we can be very proud of our democracy. The fact that 70 percent of the population voted and that are intending to come again and vote, it shows the strength of our democracy. We will have to wait to see the, the final results. I will not get into preferences. You know that I, I'm a member of Likud, but today I'm not active uh, politically. But one thing I can tell you, Hyman, we want a resolution. We want a government. It is about time to move forward. I, I feel it uh, working in the international arena that some countries are waiting, some leaders are not visiting Israel, and I think our economy will suffer from it eventually. So it is about time that we're going to have a, a government, a functioning government, and we can move on. Uh, Ambassador Danone, what kind of uh, scenario would you hope to see after tomorrow? Say we see the same result as we saw in the past uh, two previous rounds, without uh, either bloc naturally forming a government due to those constraints. Would you rather see a unity government or a smaller right-wing government? What would be the scenario you think would be best for Israel? So I think in the situation where we are today, any government will be good. We want to see a government period. But I, I think uh, being in the Knesset for many years, if you have a broad coalition, it, it allowed you to take the necessary steps uh, for our economy, for our security. So hopefully there will be a broad coalition that will be able to pass a budget and to lead Israel to the future. Uh, one other thing, Ambassador Danone, that's of course on the table is uh, the Donald Trump administration peace plan, the deal of the century between Israel and the Palestinians that was put forward to the prime minister a few uh, weeks ago. Uh, if he is in fact elected, are we likely to see that plan slowly being starting to be put into implementation? We welcome the, the plan, we welcome the effort of the administration. Uh, at the end of the day, I think it is a reality check for everybody. We tried uh, too many times uh, other ideas, it didn't work. So I think we should welcome the, the main ideas. And I think at the end of the day, we're going to have to go back to negotiations with the Palestinians. We cannot avoid it. That's what I told President Abbas when he came to the UN a few weeks ago. I told him, why are you coming to New York? You should go to Jerusalem. You should have a direct negotiation with the prime minister. This is the only way to achieve uh, a viable peace in the region. I don't know if it will happen with President Abbas. Hopefully in the future, there will be a Palestinian leader who will be willing to recognize Israel and negotiate with Israel. Hopefully there will be a solution right after tomorrow as you hope as well. Ambassador Danone, thank you very much for being with us this hour. Thank you very much, Washington, Simon. Thank, thank you very you. much.